Okay, mate. Are we rolling? Dairy. Salutation, my motoring enthusiasts. Today we are at All Fords Day. We have a thousand something Fords to look at. We're here in Geelong and we're going to be celebrating the history of the Ford Motor Company here in Australia. Let's go and have a look at some of these fabulous cars. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Uh, uh, uh oh, uh oh, the servers are down. <laughs> Keith Urban, where are we now? Um, all Ford Day. No, I think we're at the porta potties. Let's have a look. Um, so it's got your typical two pump system. You got your flush, your tap, and uh, yeah, it's got a toilet. We out here. Very fabulous station wagon here, and we have a fleet of other absolutely incredible vehicles, and this one is for sale if you would like it. Michael Bublé, what are we seeing here? It's got a VF Cobra. Just highlight the Cobra stitching on the seats from factory itself. Oh, wow, nice Keith addition. Urban, that is just breathtaking. Brian James, can you tell me a little bit about your fabulous tri-axle trailer? Uh, use it for uh, moving cars every so often. Sometimes uh, the fridge, just one fridge. But um, yeah, all in all, it's a pretty good trailer. Um, this panel van is absolutely incredible. I'm a married man, but oof, this thing is getting me flustered. It's making me have second thoughts. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. I always love the tail lights. The little like knobbly fin things. I love the instrumentation. I'm sorry, are you too old to be on this? No. Are you a man child or are you just a railway enthusiast? I'm just Oh, uh, oh, uh, this guy's getting yoked. Oh, man, look at this. Yo, Abs, at oh, oh man. Bruh. I love this old station wagon. But I also think it's kind of interesting. It's just like the random hodgepodge of crap that's sort of lumped in there. But I guess they're just in the middle of restoring it. Look at the orange button. They've swapped out the radio, which always hurts my soul, but I can understand why. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This car is just very much my childhood. I miss these cars. I'm always drawn to these ancient vehicles. This is fabulous. The chair is covered in plastic. It looks very space age. These look like afterburners on like a jet or a rocket ship or something. Now that's some serious horsepower. Oops, look at that rig. It's got two snorkels, it's got the little lights here, it's got the kitchen sink, but what? No bull bar! One kangaroo and this thing is done. Looks like we got a bit of a Star Trek enthusiast here. Oh my goodness, Will James Railways, I'm your biggest fan. Can I get an autograph? G'day everyone, my name's Will. My man's got a receding hairline, that's okay. We've got a solution for you. The doctors at Ashley and Martin could help regrow your hair. Um. Hand solo in the passenger seat here. Wow. Looks like someone skipped leg day. Toilets! 
This guy's got fan art. That is so cool. There's even more fan art up front. Look at this. More here. This car is cool. Once again, I remember this from my childhood. You don't really see them much anymore. There are cones. Right here we have a 1969 Shelby Fastback Mustang. It's a limited production vehicle. It's quite polarizing, the blue stripes on the white. We have a nice Cobra Jet side intake. I don't believe they're functional. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's automatic. I like the scoops here on the hood. That's called a NASA duct. Obviously in the name, I believe it's inspired by some of the space crafts or whatever. We'll just glance over at the rear of this vehicle. I believe that's two exhaust exits right in the center. No. More absolutely incredible panel vans. Uh, I'm so sorry, we're not meant to be driving in here. The mighty Mustangs have stabled. The ponies are in the stable. Is that a Violet Crumble livery? L livery? Float or livery? Say livery. Say livery. Like and an honorable mention, the magnificent Mercedes-Benz Vito 447. We have a Ford Landau here. It's got like a vinyl roof. This is very cool. Concealed headlights and everything. Floyd Bromley, what is your opinion on this fabulous automobile? Uh, my opinion is that it is carbureted. Ooh. Hey, hey, stop driving in here. Tickford Enhanced Car Club. Have a look at some of these mighty machines here. Always a sucker for a station wagon. Wow. Well, mm. Michael Bublé, thoughts so far? There's a lot of cars. Sort of arousal levels, like how are we? <laughs> uh, just above a chub. Just above. Okay, well let's keep going. Let's see if well, we can improve that. that oh my gosh, look at this EL. <laughs> Bradley, what is your opinion on this EL? What can I say? I'm, I'm back home, baby. Oh my gosh. Glenn Seaton uh, autograph signature sticker. We've got a very wonderful car here. Nathan, what do we think about this car? Uh, it's excellent. It's a GT in disguise. It's an ED Sprint. Uh, look at the interior. I just love the fabric. Oh, that is so 90s. <laughs> this van is chunky. It is funky and I absolutely love it. It's like camouflaged with a tree. Look at this thing. Van interior. Little box made out of number plates. That's pretty cool. You gotta love a crunchy transit. Guys, we've got a bargain of the century here. Only 7,500. Dairy. Yeah, it would be that. Yeah. There's so many cool cars here. We're actually starting to run out of time. We've still got like all of that to explore. Awesome old ute and an amazing old hearse. Copyrighted music playing everywhere. Not having a good time in that regard, but other than that, I'm liking it. Ear protection required when this equipment is operating. XAGS hardtop in wild violet with a white interior. Which just makes it very quite interesting. Look at this territory. It's got its own territory. They built a little fence for it. And what I find is cool, they have a drink bottle, a Ford Territory drink bottle. Now that is some exclusive merch. And look at this car over here too. So it's very nice. Right here we have a 1973 Lime Glaze Ford XA Superbird. This car was featured in a viral YouTube video that has amassed 14 million views at the time of filming. The original story goes this car was uh, rolled into a ditch and had sat on the owner's farm awaiting restoration. I just want to highlight the nice vinyl inserts here. It's got sort of like a texture to it. Three speed automatic Superbird logo on the glove box. Just glancing over the bodywork, it's absolutely exceptional. A lot of the times these coupes have very poorly welded rears, but it looks very nice. The boot also, this is how they came from the factory. So yes, they do look a bit harsh or a bit bare bones, but you know what, it does the job, man. And it looks pretty nice. You'll notice the 302 decal on the side. That's in reference to the 302 cubic inch 
Cleveland V8 engine. It looks absolutely concourse. You could not tell this car was a wreck at one stage. Oh, that's so angular. Dang it, it says no digging, but I am just digging this car. Copyrighted music playing everywhere Not having a good time in that regards But other than that I'm liking it Like the old parts that are just plonked in the boot Interesting little remnants here Information about said car Here you go Still got like an ancient registration sticker I always love those Exploded view of an XA GT hardtop Oh my word Did you um I know some of you are going to be upset that we've missed some nice cars, but here I'd just like to show you this V8 supercar and this Cosworth. Loving this old Ford Thunderbird here. Look how they've integrated the seats into like the bodywork. That is so cool. Very quite interesting ute and yes, lots of interesting vehicles here. Very, very interesting, isn't that right, Floyd? Look at those incredibly amazing Joel Rouse inspired headlight covers. If I went back, Apollo Blue XB John Goss edition Ford Falcon. Originally these cars were intended for people that wanted a 351 cubic inch V8, which was in the GTs, but couldn't justify paying the exorbitant insurance fees. So what was offered was the 302 John Goss, or even the GS Falcons with the 302 smaller V8 engine. Now this one is two-tone. You got your polar white on your Apollo blue accentuated by this nice glistening orange stripes down the side. I also like the Cobra Jet. This is something that is specific to the XB and XC coupes. It's just the Cobra Jet. It doesn't actually go anywhere, but it looks really trick. And it, yes, that is factory as well. And I like the parcel shelf as well. It's carpeted. It's got a nice little short pile carpet there. You know, that really helps to keep the heat down, I guess, on vinyl. Yeah, it's just a very voluptuous looking car. They like to describe these Ford Falcons as having a coke bottle design as you can see wide rear arches here just followed by a nice contour and then it follows back ever so slightly at the front guards. So this one is an automatic with the factory optioned air conditioning as you can see there. This car is named the John Goss edition Ford Falcon because of the race car driver John Goss who won Bathurst in an XA Falcon and this was his special factory edition vehicle. This was supposedly a limited production vehicle. However, the exact numbers of how many were made is unknown. You could option it in two color combinations, the Apollo Blue or the Emerald Fire, I think it's called. Don't know. Um, yeah. Oop, looks like the laser's broken down again. Oh. Bit of American steel here. Got a Lincoln. Very rectilinear, as we like. Very purple. <laughs> nice big truck. That is a massive engine. Whoa, they are not meant to be driving. They are causing a risk for us by pedal life forms. Bro, I'm steaming, bro. I'm in a steaming mood. Always love when you have a 1980s car, complete with Garden State number plate and like ancient stickers. Interior view. Well, look at those Simon Boo Boo McArdle cans. The Sterling Limousine Services. What is this? Bruh. The ants are enjoying their the hot dog, what's left of it. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, this is a tip of it. Love this old highway patrol vehicle. I love just seeing old cars sort of still in their costumes from what they did originally. I don't know if that's the right term, but you know what I mean. 911. We have a convertible mid conversion. Look at that. It's just like frozen in the middle of the air. Wow. Bab, what do you reckon on this truck? You can earn 
earn a living with this one. It's, it's beautiful of... and functional. I love this thing. Always love commercial vehicles. People get really sentimental about their family car and they just can't get rid of it. But commercial vehicles just get chucked in the bin. They're here to earn money. Once they stop earning us money and become too difficult, they just get chucked. So that's why I love seeing commercial vehicles that have been restored. Random dude walking through. Breathtaking XB, eye-wateringly beautiful Cortina. Always had an affinity for this type of car. It's just so boxy. This 1956 Ford Thunderbird is absolutely incredible. Just, I'm gonna let it speak for itself. Apparently, this car was originally owned by Bing Crosby. That's incredible. Check this out. You can actually see the speedometer from the other side, like through the windscreen. That is so weird, but so cool. Close up on the instruments and that type of thing. This is incredible. We have another truck. Of course I'm interested. And a few arts for sale. Pretty cool. 1972 Ford F250. There's some information about it. Probe. We have a probe. We have food options. Unfortunately, I can't stop for food because I've got to film this video for you. So you better appreciate it and subscribe. Isn't that right, X Benedict? Yes. Not meant to be driving in here. <laughs> Ford Capri GT. This car is blue, and that's all I know about it. We might not know, but this sign store does. We have an amazing Ford laser here. Subscribe. KB Ford laser. This is a sport model for being a bit of a hoon. Pretty cool. Love these lasers. Really cool to see a black interior. Steering wheel. Three pedals. Love that. Love the door cards. Just love all the fabric. So cool. One thing I've always loved about these lasers is the Venetian thingy we bobs you can pump through the back. It's got the rear hatch open so you can actually see all the little bits and pieces and so the judges can see how good condition the car is as well. So much going on. Close up on that brochure for the sport model. Funky rims, we've got the engine here. Love that massive blue air filter. Oh, sorry, are you handing out free food? Thank you, Michael Buble. Thank you so much. Got another laser here. Sucker for a laser. Look at this. Just married. Complete with cans. You gotta love that brown interior. 80s steering wheel lock, flowers, marriage certificate. Oof. Ribbons. This is absolutely incredible. Specs! I was reading the plaque on the window and the owner calls the car Bant after the original owner, Lewis T. Bant, who was credited for inventing the Ute. Well, this is odd. It's like a tipper, yet the floor kind of stays up. I, oh, it's so we can see the whole fuel tank and the differential and just the amount of work that has gone into this thing. Everyone is like leaving. I'm getting really fed up. Stop leaving. I haven't even filmed you in detail yet. We have a very arousing vehicle here. As you can see, we have a halo of people admiring this absolutely incredible speed demon. Got a Ford GT40. How's this for a tie-in? Ford is sort of funk some of their newer vehicles here if you want to buy them, including lots of utes and that sort of things, Ford Rangers. But what's interesting here is we've got a big plaque about Lewis T. Bant, which that car we literally just saw before, that was a car that this man used to own. And this man was a Ford designer and he was credited for inventing the first ever ute. And I believe that this is one of Lewis T. Bant's Designed utes here, just because it's a 1934, it looks extremely old. There's no plaque on it. I really wish people would give me a little bit more information, but I'm going to claim it. One interesting thing about Lewis T. Bant is he actually died in the car that he invented in 1987. He died in a traffic accident. 
close by. This is epic. Mad Max cars. Alert. Yeah. Alert. Let's go close up in this. Look at those big lights up there. Look inside. Interceptor. And of course, we've got Mad Max's actual car here. The last of the V8s. So cool. Complete with theme music. This is really cool. We've got like the bad guy. I have no clue what his name is from the first Mad Max movie. And his eyes are like bulging out of his head. And I remember that from the movie. There's like a shot of his eyes bulging out of his head before he gets squashed. Don't know if these are actually screen used. I'm going to assume they're replicas, but dang it. They are so cool. We have more food options. I'm sorry, we've got to power through because look at these ancient cars. Cup of tea, 1926. Cool. Ancient cars here. Yeah. Like this one, once again, sort of like a commercial vehicle. Look at the horn. I wish I could squeeze it, but we're not allowed to touch. So cool, there's some history on it. There you go, history. Weren't these thermometers? to show you how hot your radiator was. If you guys know, let us know in the comments below. We've got um, a wonderful old Ford truck. Do Ford even still make trucks to this magnitude? I'm not sure. Again, that looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got like a Cobra on the back and then it's like towing another car. Oh, it's a Salt Lake racing. This is a drag racing car that races on dry lake beds salt lake racing or something and um it has some accolades let's have a read of that the fastest this car has ever gone is 283 kilometers an hour that is crazy i've got goosebumps thank you bab thank you for the food old town val fire department inc ladders There's that Ute again. Look at these little sprightly race cars. So small. It's one player. Another one over here. Cool. Harness. For sale. For sale. Look at this. This car has RGB flashing lights. It's like a modern gaming PC. Ford Motor Company Limited England. Old registration sticker lets us know it's a Ford. Perfect. Look at this artwork underneath the bonnet and of course the engine because we like those two. Amazingly still walking after about four hours on my feet. We have vendors, 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 vendors. I'm not really in the market, but vendors. Swags for utes, swags for utes. Look at this like trailer ute tent thing. So I'd just like to give a quick overview of this 96 XR6. As you can see, it's finished in a lovely Regency red with a bit of flair added to the paint, so you got that nice candy on the top. Um, it has the old GT rims, an absolutely immaculate interior, and just touching it, just a little finishing touch to it is the Momo steering wheel, looking absolutely dope in there. This car took out two prizes today, so Shannon's Choice and Best EFEL Falcon, which this car absolutely commends. It looks really stunning, and the ride height is absolutely perfect. The body kit. What can I say? It speaks for itself. It's coming towards three o'clock. Everyone's heading out. I'm kind of annoyed because I didn't actually get to film everything. It's kind of annoying. I guess it was fun to see what I got to see, but dang it. Just like that, it's four o'clock because I've just spent some time talking to someone and look, everyone is now gone. So with that, I'm pretty much gonna say all Ford's Day 2024 is complete. All right, well, that sort of ended abruptly. Um, but anyway, all Ford's Day 2024 is complete. I hope you enjoyed seeing all those fabulous historic vehicles. I sure did, and all of the menagerie of humans that I brought with me sure did too. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy old cars, I've made some other videos on that sort of topic. We've done um, Coral Swimming, which is historic military vehicles. We've also done Chryslers on the Murray last year, so a whole bunch of Chryslers and Dodge and Plymouths and that sort of stuff. 
So check out those videos. Otherwise, I'll see you in another video. Farewell, viewers. Bye.